Hello everyone and welcome to Peter Humble episode 2. In this episode, a man is talking to Celia. Hello Angel, I must confess, you're amazingly beautiful Celia. That's very kind of you. Thank you, how are you doing today? Hope your day is as beautiful as your smile. I'm fine thanks, she said, I just got home from work. That's nice to hear. Oh yes, Cecilia, awesome to hear. Where are you chatting from? I'm in Durham in the northeast of England. Where are you chatting from? That's wonderful, question mark. I'm in North Carolina, United States. How was work today? It was busy this morning, she said, but fairly quiet this afternoon. That's nice. Hope it wasn't so stressful. Oh, very stressful, she said. Oh, sorry for the stress. Assume you have a stress-free job, she replied. Not at all. Smiles. OK, what do you do? Having realised that being a coil tubing piper was probably beyond his capabilities, that man has changed jobs. I'm a welder. You? I'm an administrator. What do you weld? Stainless pipes and irons and hyperbaric welding. That's nice. What type of administrator? I work in the admissions department at the university in Durham, she said. That's cool. Do you have children? I have an adult son who lives in Sydney in Australia. That's far. You live alone? Is that a statement? She said. What I meant was, you live alone? Question mark. I have two student lodgers, she replied. That's good. You don't get to be alone then. Are you married or single? I'm a widow. Sorry to hear, he said. My husband died six years ago. He was a lovely man, but he was a lot older than me. I'm divorced for the past six years. She was having an affair with a younger man. It's a long story. I'm sorry to hear that, said Celia. It's OK. It's all in the past now. What's the time over there? It's half past five. Oh, OK. It's 12.34pm over here. I keep staring at your profile pic and smile. Aren't you at work, she asked. Yes, I am, but not working right now. That doesn't make sense, Cecilia. You mean you're on your lunch break? Yes, I am. Where do you work? Still got about 17 minutes left of my free time. I own my business. You have your own workshop or you visit your customers. I have my own workshop and I have about eight workers too. You'd think with that smaller number of workers, you'd know how many you have, wouldn't you? So I guess you weld cars and fences and things. LOL, I weld much bigger things than that. Oh, OK, what kind of things? I'm assuming they have to be brought to your workshop somehow. Not all the time, he said. Sometimes I do work at the premises and being called to work on. And sometimes I get big contracts from big firms due to my team skill. Sounds like you have a good business there, said Celia. It's going well. I'm pleased for you, she replied. Thank you. I would love to know you more better. That's an American phrase, is it? asked Celia. LOL. You think so? Question mark. No, I don't, she said, but it might be. Smiles. I would love to know more about you. Celia sent a smiling face. Are you on Google Chat? he asked. So she gave him her email address. Thanks, he said. What are you doing now? Screaming at the mole rat moth on the ceiling, what are you doing now? Hello, well, he said, relaxing my back while talking to you. I have to go, said Celia, my phone's ringing. OK, text me when you're done. Hello again, she said a bit later. Hello, Celia. Sorry for my late response. I have to finish up with work. I'm sorry for not texting sooner. Just got home from work. I texted you on Google Chat. I guess you're already in bed. Have a wonderful night's sleep with blissful dreams tonight, beautiful. Good morning, said Celia the next day. Good morning, sunshine. Hope you had a wonderful sleep. And how's your morning going? I'm just having a quick coffee, waiting for some colleagues to start a Teams call. How's yours going? It's 5.16am over here, said our man, realising what time it was meant to be. I'm still in bed. OK, said Celia. I'm cleaning the house and going to the store later today. You don't have to work, she asked. I'm not working today. What are you doing today? What do you think I'm doing, asked Celia. Working. Awesome, said Celia. Smiles. I can't stop looking at your pic. I bet I will have a good day today. I hope you do, she said. You have a breathtaking smile. Thank you, she said. 
Did you get my message on Google Chat? Oh, I didn't look. I'll just go and look now. I just replied you on chat. And so they finally moved to chat. Hello, Angel, he said. It's Peter, and sent her a photograph of a man. Good morning, said Celia, when she finally found him. Good morning, sunshine. You already said that. LOL, I did. Can I have another pic of you? Are you there? My meeting's just about to start. Sorry, I have to go now, she said. OK, good luck, Celia. Hello again, she said at lunchtime. But that man wasn't there. Hello, beautiful. How's work going, he said a bit later. But it was mid-afternoon and Celia was at work. Are you there? he asked a bit later when she still hadn't answered him because she was still at work. And for good measure, he asked her the same thing on Facebook. Hello, I just got home, she said a bit later. That's great. How was work today? It was busy. What are you doing now? Your response is quite slow. Cooking dinner, she said, to save you asking. It's a casserole I've taken out of the freezer, and yes, it's yummy. Oh no, please tell me you aren't one of those entitled men who think a woman should respond instantly to every riveting wordy types. What are you doing now? I'm planning on going to the store soon. You don't have to respond instantly to every word I type. Sweet, I'm glad you enjoyed dinner. What are you doing now? Eating my dinner. Cecilia, oh my goodness, you've got to admire the riveting conversation of some of these scammers. What are you doing now? Just relaxing, thinking about you. What are you doing now? She said to wind him up five minutes later. Are you still having dinner? He said. What are you doing now? I'm doing nothing right now. Are you just a lazy layabout? No, I'm not, lol. I'm planning on going to the store soon. What are you doing now? Oh, FGS, said Celia, grow up and have a proper conversation. Your response is slow, sweet, he said. Your response is childish tripe, said Celia. Either grow up and have a proper conversation or go away. And if the person that you're talking to online repeatedly asks you what you're doing now, but can never tell you what they're doing when you ask them the same question, then you know you're talking to a scammer. I'm trying to have a decent conversation with you, but you keep going on and off. I'd love to know more about you since your divorce. Have you been on any relationship? I'm not sure that's any of your business, Cecilia. Please stop working your way down the list of a hundred daft questions to ask someone online if you can't think for yourself, because I know what comes next. Do you believe in distance relationship? Do you believe in true love? There's no need asking all of that, he said. I just wanted to know if you've been single and alone since your divorce. True love comes from the heart. Believing it or not doesn't matter. OFGS, said Celia, I wasn't asking you, you dimwit. I was telling you what comes next on your list of daft questions. I know you wasn't asking me, he said. I was just saying. I've been alone for quite a long time now, and I know it's not a good feeling to be alone, and I want someone to spend the rest of my life with. Maybe you should join a local singles group, she suggested. You're intelligent and mostly beautiful, and every man will be blessed to have you. Mostly beautiful, said Celia. I'm not sure if that's a compliment or an insult. Which bit isn't beautiful? What I meant was, you're amazingly beautiful amongst all your features, and every man will be blessed to have you. That's very kind of you, said Celia. Truth be told, I like you a lot. I'm flattered, said Celia. I'm an honest, caring, loving, trustworthy and supportive man, and I will be honoured to have a woman like you. I know everyone has trust issues. With everything going on in the internet, no one deserves to be trusted. But I think I can learn to trust you, if you give me a chance to. I think you got that backwards, said Celia. Why do you say so? Every relationship is built on trust from both sides. If I can trust you, then you can trust me as well. You just told me you'd be honoured to have a woman like me. Now you're saying you think you can learn to trust me. Suppose I don't trust you. I'll be honoured to have you. And at the same time, I still need to trust you. There's no love without trust and no trust without love. I've had some horrible experiences before. And those kind of experiences breaks every bit of trust. But with the right person, it can be rebuilt again. If you don't trust me, you can learn to. I'm not looking for a man with trust issues, and Celia. I'm willing to trust you and love you and respect you, Celia. You're special and unique. You have no idea, pal. That's very kind of you, said Celia. Can I get a quick pic of you? I'm honest and I want to love you, Celia. My pic is on Facebook, she said. Good morning, Celia. 
How are you? And how's your day going? Good morning. It's very cold this morning. I'm just about to hang up some washing to dry in the spare room. It's cold out here too. Are you not working today? No, I don't work at weekends, she said. This was a Saturday. OK, I have to go. My oven timer's pinging. OK, OK, I'm back, she said half an hour later. OK, it's cold outside. What's your favourite season? Spring? What's yours? It's cold here too. Mine's spring too, he said, disappearing from chat and reappearing the next day magically on Facebook. Hello, beautiful. Spring is my favourite season too. I like winter too. The service went off because of the storm. Oh dear, are you having bad weather, she said. It's turned very cold here. Yes, we're having a storm. The service is poor. I keep thinking of you. Of course, I looked up the weather in the place where he claimed to live in North Carolina. The wind was a mere two miles per hour, and it was 11 degrees centigrade. I guess they were having a storm wherever he lives in Nigeria. We aren't having a storm, she said. We're fine. It's good to hear. And he copied Ben, the bit where he said, I keep thinking of you. To which Celia replied, deliberately misunderstanding him, It's not necessary. Like I said, we aren't having a storm. Make up your mind, please. Do you want to talk to me here or on chat? I prefer chat, but let's talk here. Sorry for my late response. Good morning, Celia. Good morning. I just have a few minutes, then I have a meeting with the tutors in one of the colleges. OK, how's your day going today? Sorry I missed you last night. I went out with a friend after work. OK, how's your day going so far? OK, I just finished a Teams call with some colleagues in Canada. How's your day going? My day is as beautiful as your beautiful smile. OFGS, say something sensible, Cecilia. What have you been doing today? It's 9.50am and cold outside. Yes, that doesn't tell me what you're doing. I'm about to do the laundry. Calm down. I want to clean the house and go get some things from the store. Our man, you've probably realised by now, has no idea what he does at work and so avoids the question. And if the person that you're talking to online does that to you, then you know you're talking to a scammer. Excuse me. Cecilia, I'm just trying to get you to give me a sensible answer to the question you asked me. Is that all you ever do? She said, replying to him, saying I want to clean the house and get some things from the store. Because that's exactly what you said last time. So I don't believe you. So I assume you don't work. and You were just telling me stories when you said you do. I live alone and clean my house myself. I do so whenever I'm not working. OK, so obviously you are unemployed. I've told you before that I work. I'm not unemployed. And I don't believe you, Cecilia. I'm home today. What do you expect me to do this morning? Because you can never tell me what you're doing at work. You always tell me you aren't working today. And it replied to him saying, what do you expect me to do this morning? She said, go to work like everyone else. I'm an independent welding technician and contractor. I work whenever I have work to do. That's not what you told me before. I don't need anyone to tell me to go work like a little child, he said. I told you I'm a welder. You told me you had your own workshop and employed eight people. I don't need a man that copies and pastes the same stupid story because he has nothing sensible to say. Yes, because I'm independent and every welder has a workshop. I own my workshop, so I don't have to always be at the workshop because I have other activities to do when I'm not working. And what other activities would that be, apart from shopping and cleaning, that we all do? Believe what you must, he said. I can't change your thoughts about me. Realising he was floundering. You could, if you stopped copying and pasting the same story and told me sensibly what you're doing today and what the other activities are that you do when you aren't working. I'm getting the house and the garden cleaned and the laundry done. There won't be anyone to do it if I travel to Mexico. You're going to Mexico, said Celia. I have friends coming later today and they're taking you to Mexico. I live alone and I do everything all by myself. We're going to a music show together. The service is terrible. What service? I don't see even a remote connection between that and your friends taking you to Mexico. My friends are not taking me to Mexico. We're going out today. Pete's and his wife will be here. And Harry, I'm going to Mexico for work. Explain those answers to my questions then, please, she said. Copying the bit where she'd said you're going to Mexico and he'd said I have friends coming later today. Because I'm beginning to wonder if you read what I'm typing. It sounds as if you just like talking to yourself. The friends are coming to visit and I live alone and do everything myself. 
because I'm cleaning the house myself now. The service is terrible. That's why my messages keep coming late. You don't read mine. You're a beautiful woman and that drives me crazy. You're a little impatient. When can we meet for dinner or a glass of wine? I'm sorry for the response. The service is poor, making the messages come a little late. I don't copy and paste anything to you, my lioness. We can't, she said, in reply to him saying, when can we meet for dinner or a glass of wine, unless you come to Durham? I want to, but Mexico will be stopping me from doing that any sooner. Can we make plans for it? Why do we need plans? Just tell me when you can come. I have to be in Mexico for work, maybe three weeks, but I'll be home before Christmas. Maybe we can meet up on Christmas Day. I hope so. I doubt it. Azelia, I'll be staying with my mother for Christmas. I believe I can make it. OK, before Christmas. Yes, she said I'd go to my mother on the 23rd of December, so you'd have to come to Durham as soon as you finish in Mexico. I will. You'll probably have to fly to Heathrow and come up on the train. How is your mum and how old is she? She's fine, said Celia, and she's 77. I will. You'll have to give me an address. I'll meet you at Durham Station. That's good. Do you have a picture of her? That'll be great. You'll have to show me around yourself. I'm sure you'll love Durham, said Celia. I'll take you to the cathedral and the castle and the old street around the centre. And if the person that you're talking to online starts asking you for photographs of your friends and your family, please don't send them. They use them to collect sets of photos so that they can scam other victims. I believe I will, he said. It'll be nice to have you take me there. Do you eat at restaurants? Yes, we have lots of them here in town. That would be perfect. Actually, it's technically a city, she said, but I think of it as a town. It's much smaller than Newcastle, which is a big city. Why? he said, in reply to her saying, actually, it's technically a city, but I think of it as a town. Why what? You said it's a city, but you think of it as a town. Why do you think of it as a town? I just told you, said Celia. Oh, OK. Am I living in a hotel when I get there? I doubt there'll be any space left that close to Christmas. I have a spare room. You're welcome to stay here for a couple of nights, but you'll have to make your own arrangements for the 23rd. Thank you very much, she said. Will you spend the whole Christmas day with your mum? OK, I'll be making plans before the 23rd. I'll be glad to see you in person. See your beautiful face. For real. I told you, I'm going there on the 23rd of December. She lives in Wells in Somerset. I'll probably come home on the 27th. I'll be in a hotel till you come back by the 27th. Is it OK? Good luck finding somewhere, Cecilia. You might have more luck on Airbnb, but you could try booking.com. I'll check it out, he said. I can't be at your house when you go to visit your mum for Christmas. No, Cecilia, I don't even know you. That's why I said I'll find a hotel before you go to visit your mum. I just looked on booking.com. There are some hotels with space. Book somewhere in the city centre, then you can walk to my house. We will get to know each other when we meet. Obviously, said Cecilia. Do you go to night shows? You know. When you're being asked silly questions like that, you know you're talking to a kid, not a mature man. What? Cecilia, I'm off to bed now. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Band concerts or night shows? Good morning. And he sent her one of those good morning gifts. I don't know what a night music show is, and I'm not into band concerts. I like classical music. We have some lovely classical concerts in the cathedral. And also, I sing in our local choir. That's lovely. You must have an amazing voice. If you say so, Cecilia, the choir doesn't have auditions. I know you do have a lovely voice. I would love to hear it. Oh, the choir only sing in church? We sing in the cathedral, the town hall and lots of other venues. And so she sent him the link to the Durham Choral Society website. Are you working now, he asked. I'm on my tea break. It's quiet this morning. I'll be busy this afternoon. And in reply to him saying, I know you do have a lovely voice. I'd love to hear it, she said. You could call me. It's wonderful to know you sing. You have a singing program on the 16th of next month and also on the 24th of January next year, said our man who tapped on the link. Unfortunately, on Facebook, you can't send the dodgy tracking links. They don't work. That's amazing. Try not to stress yourself too much today. And in reply to her saying, you could call me. He said, I will. Please tell me you aren't one of those idiots I keep meeting online who have a thing about stress. Do you live some magic stress-free life where someone else does everything for you? I don't have a thing about stress, 
Just don't want you to stress yourself out, that's all. Let's not make it a big deal. When will you call, she said. I think I'll go for lunch now, that it's quiet. After 1pm, it'll get really busy again. When will you be able to take calls? For the next hour or so. Remind me where you're from, so I know what to expect when you call, please. OK, NC, she said, having scrolled right back and looked. I don't have your phone number. Just let me know when to call you. You can call me on here, said Celia. OK, I will. Can I call you now or after you come back from lunch? You can call now, she said. And so he called her. Hi there. Hello. Hi there. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you very much. So when are you going to Mexico? Huh? Uh so when are you what going? Did you say? When are you going to Mexico? Or by next week, or either on Tuesday or on Wednesday. All right. Okay. I love your voice. I thought you said you were going for three weeks. Yeah. Well, if you go next Tuesday. You won't be able to go for three weeks, will you, if you come here for Christmas? Yeah. Is that your only answer to everything, is yes? I said yes. I, after work, I'll be coming down to to meet you on Christmas. Yeah, shall we try again? And, and you'll try not to say yes to everything. You told me you were going <laughs> for three weeks. I said so. Yes. If you go for three weeks, you won't be here for Christmas, will you? Yeah, I will be there. Right. How will you manage to be here in time for Christmas if you go for three weeks? Mm. Or I can take a leave, maybe, or maybe on the 17th or for December. I can't really I hear you. You're very quiet. I said I can I can leave by maybe on the seventeenth of December this month. Right, I so you won't it. you won't be going for three weeks then, will you? It won't take up to three weeks. I can't take permission to leave if I want to. Right. I will. Can you at least try and say something sensible? If you go on the fifth of December and you leave on the seventeenth of December, how long will you be there for? It won't be two weeks. Like I told you, I said I'm supposed to be in Mexico for two weeks, but if I stay there for two weeks, I can meet up. I can I can I can come see you. So I have to No, to that's take exactly a break, take that's a exactly what I've been saying. So you aren't going for three weeks, are you? No, I won't I won't get to stay there for two weeks because if I do I can I can meet up. I can meet up with you. Congratulations, you have... managed to work it out. Well, where are you going in Mexico? Oh, Tampico. All right, don't think I... Well, I probably do know that. I expect we've got students from there. Okay. Uh, what are you going to be doing? What are you going to be doing when you go there? Two, two weeks isn't very long. I'm working. I told you before. Yeah, I know you're working. What will you be doing when you go there? Because two weeks isn't very long to get anything done. I know, two weeks won't get the job done, but I have to take a leave so I can see you. Yeah, what if will not... you be doing? Working. Yes, I know you're working. Why is this so difficult? What will you be doing for work? What work will you be doing while you're there? I told you before, I'm a welder. Yes, I know you're a welder. I'm asking you what you'll be doing when you're in Mexico. I know you're a welder. What will you be welding? What will you be doing for two weeks in Mexico? Why is this so hard? Who are you going to be working for? I'm working for, we have a contract to do and I'm working. If yes. I'm a welder, if yes. I'm a welder. I know you're a welder. I'm I know you're going to get a contract. Who will you get the contract with? Who are you working for? 
I'm working for a small organization, for a small firm. Yes, I'm whose name right is, here. and what is the name of this small organization? Must you know? Sorry? Is I, it, what, is I, it, I, I can't, you've gone very quiet again. Must you, must you know who I'm working for? I told you I've got work that's... Yes, I must know because it's beginning to, know. to... Yes, I must know because I'm beginning to think you're lying to me and you're not going at all. Because it, otherwise it wouldn't be so difficult to get you to tell me what you're doing, would it? If you ask me what I'm doing to, at work today, I can tell you. I can tell you who I work for. I can, I can tell you exactly what work I'm doing. I'm not going to keep saying, I'm an administrator, I'm an administrator, I'm an administrator. I can tell you what no, I'm doing. No. I'm having The next thing I'm doing is having a Teams call with the university in Coventry. Then after that, I should be having a Teams call with one of the universities in Las Vegas. So I do know what I'm actually doing at work, and I know who I work for. So... I know. What will you I be doing the, in Mexico? I, I will be working with my team. My job is to weld. Yes, what will you be welding? Oh my god. No, Martins, oh my god. If you're really metals, going if metals, you're welding, what do they wear? They wear metals. Right. Metals materials. I'm I can't I can't hear you. You're going quiet I'm, again. I'm I'm not even there yet. I'm not even You've there gone yet. quiet got again. I can't hear you. I said I've got No, put the phone near your yet. mouth. Put I'm, the phone I get there. Shut up and put Until the phone I there, I know what to do. Put the phone near your mouth so I can hear you. The phone is closed. Put the phone put, put the phone near your mouth near your mouth so i can hear you the phone is near my mouth that's better i can hear you right okay this is your last chance because i now don't believe a word you're saying you're not going to mexico are you because if you were going to mexico you would better tell me who you were working for and what you're doing i know you're a welder you'd better able to tell me what you're wel welding you'd be able to say very confidently i'm working for what think of the name of a company in mexico fred blogs inc in mexico who've hired me and my team to weld all the water pipes in their car park or i'm working for fernando sanchez and his mother's company and we're welding all the pipes in their block of flats so if you were really going to mexico you better tell me who you were working for and what you're doing you know so you're not going to mexico are you listen to me listen to me stop being an ace we're going to mexico me and my team to work okay if you want to know who i'm working for i'm working for john willis he's american okay and uh, we are not working in his house. We are working for for his firm. I told you I can I can work. I can wear it on the water. And we still have such jobs to to do when we get to Mexico. And I don't even know I don't even know what we are welding, but I know it's a welding contract. Until I get there, I know the work I'm doing. I haven't even seen it yet. You asking me like as if I'm there already. I'm not there. Until I get there, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm working on. I'm just told I have to bring my team up to Tampico for work. I know it includes our, 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 our what is it called again? Or a pot, uh, oh my God, <sighs> I forgot. But it has something to do with wireline. So, until I get there, I know what to do. I, 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 I will see what I'm working on. So I can't just say I'm going to Mexico working on this when I haven't even seen what I'm working on. I'm just told it has to do with wireline. And so when I get there, I see the job I have to do. I do it, and I come back home. As simple as ABC. I can't hear you very well. Can you turn up the volume? Your service is poor. That's why you can hear me very well. Can I you can't. Hear me now? 
No, I can't. I can hardly hear you. Can you hear me now? A little bit better, maybe. Now, tell me how you can quote. How can you quote? How can you give someone a quote for a contract if you don't know what work you're going to be doing? No, no, no. This doesn't need quotation. This doesn't need quotation. I just uh, I'm being told it has a uh, uh, we have to work on a a, a, a wire line and our. Uh, Mm, I have. To, I think I have to go to my computer to to check my mail, to check John Wheel's message. So until I do that, when we get there, all we have to do is weld, and that's our job. Weld. We are not going to to do all the works there. Just to weld, and once our time is done, and once our work is done, we'll leave. And if our work is not done before three weeks. We we'll have to complete our job before coming home. But I can take your leave because I would want to see you. We already have plans that will come for Christmas. So what, what more do you want me to say? How, how, how much more do you want me to explain? Well, I'd like you to explain like a real mature adult experienced welder, not like a kind of inexperienced kid who's just making up stories. But, you know, yeah, we're going yeah, to we're gonna have to we're going to have to settle like, for an experienced kid making up stories, aren't we? Making up stories so, about what? Wh when do you think you'll get you'll be able to come here? I told you already, I said. Maybe on the 17th, I'll take leave, 17th or or maybe 16th, I'll ask for permission to to leave until Christmas. And we are, we are, we are working till on the 23rd. We are, we'll be stopping work on the 23rd. So maybe I can take a leave by 17th so I can come. That's what I'm saying. I thought you were the boss and you owned the company. I owned my own workshop. And I'm working for someone. I can't just leave someone's work. I have to take permission to leave. So you'll be giving yourself, you'll be asking yourself for permission to leave, presumably. I'm not asking myself for permission to leave. I'm asking permission for who I have, who I'm working for. I can't just leave someone's job because how can I, how can I do that? Just leave because I own my team. Oh, you I mean you'll that. take you'll you'll uh, you won't leave your team to fit to complete the job? Then you'll take all your give all your team leave as well, will you? That's very generous of you. No. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. No, that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. You 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 misunderstand what I'm saying. I said I'll take permission to leave from the person I'm working for. It's a contract. I can't just leave the work I'm doing. And, and just go somewhere else. I have to let the people I'm working for, I have to have, let them know I have somewhere to be. If That's you say the so. I'm saying I want to take. So I can't just, just leave because I'm the boss or on my own. I own my own job, but this is a contract. I'm working for someone. I can't just leave the job. If you say so. So you're coming on the 17th of December? Yeah, on the 17th. And where will you fly to? Straight to you. Yes, we don't. Ha I don't have an air. We don't have an airport in Durham. Where will you fly to? I will make arrangement. I will check online. I will check online where we are. Uh, where we'll be landing, and, and I don't know. I haven't been to 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 do them or, or or i haven't been been there before so i'll have to check i'll have to ask questions and you're supposed to direct me you you're the one who's supposed to tell me where to land i haven't been there before and you're asking me where, I'm, where, where i will be landing instead of you telling me where to land well i think you'll find i already did if you read our messages but you are a big, grown-up, experienced international businessman and traveller, so you ought to be able to research where the flights go from in Mexico yes, and find out the nearest I airport. I, I don't know which airport in Mexico you will be flying from, so I don't know which airports in the UK you can fly to. It, 
it should be an airport closer to you. Right, I'll, far away I'll, from I'll you. say that again. I don't know which airport in Mexico you will be flying from. I'll say that again so that you've heard me. I don't know which airport in Mexico you will be flying from. So I don't know which airports in the UK you'll be able to fly to. So you'll have to look on the website of whichever airport you're flying from and find out which airports in the UK you can fly to. Because okay. I don't know which airport you're flying from, so I can't tell you which airports you can come to. But if you go on the website of whichever airport you're flying from, you should be able to see which UK airports they fly to. And then I'm sure it's not beyond you to look on a map of the UK, find Durham and find out which is the nearest airport that you can actually fly to. Yes, that I can do. Yeah, Whatever I'm sure I you can. I'm it won't take you very long. Yeah, it won't take, it won't take time. It won't take very long. No. I'll make inquiries. Yeah. And, so uh, when you've worked out where you're flying from and where you're flying to, perhaps you can let me know. Okay, that I will do. Because most of the airports have uh, a train station, so you could get a train to Durham. Okay. That, that's all I'll do. You know, I'll, I'll make inquiry. I'll make inquiry or, or right away. You know, I'll let you know. Yeah. And I'm actually working on, um, let's see, I'm just looking at the calendar. Um, I'm working on the Monday, the Tuesday, and the Wednesday. You don't work. You don't work on Tuesdays. Now I'll say that again. I will be working on the Monday, the Tuesday, and the Wednesday before Christmas. And th then okay. we actually then our department is actually closed for two weeks after that. It's okay. When I make inquiry, I'll let you know. Okay. When are you having lunch? Well, I'm just about to go and have it. Am I stopping you from having lunch? No, I'm only just going to go and grab a sandwich or some soup or something in the canteen. It'll only take 10 minutes. Okay, or maybe I should let you go get lunch. And after lunch, I'll call you again well i'll be working this afternoon so i'm going to be busy this afternoon so you won't be able to take calls then oh well done um but i'll be home about half past five i should think so should I you can message you me you can five? message me with, when you've found out which flights well which airports you can come come to and which flights you can get Okay, I will. I will do that right away. By the way, why are you wearing your pyjamas in your photo? Where did you see that photo? Um, that um, well, I, I'll give you two choices. It's either the photo on your Facebook page that I'm looking at now, or it's a random photo on a calendar that the postman put through my door. Do you want me to take it off? No, I just asked you why you're wearing your pajamas. I take I take pictures with with anything I wear when I feel like to, and I just I I I I took the picture because I want I want to take the picture. Well, clearly you didn't anytime take it. Clearly you didn't take it because you're not holding the camera. And me interrupting here. Look out for that when the person that you're talking to online claims they've just taken a photo and they're sending you a selfie. Is it a selfie? Do they have their arm extended holding the camera? Or has somebody else taken the photograph for them, possibly from a distance? Yeah, I know. So why did someone take a photo of you in your pyjamas? Is it bad? 
It's not a bad thing. I didn't say it was a bad thing. I'm asking you why someone took a photograph of you in your pyjamas to put on Facebook. Because I, because I, asked, I asked him to, to take me a picture. And you didn't think it would be more um, respectful to get dressed first? I'll take that as no, you didn't. Anyway, I need, I need to go and get some lunch. I'll speak to you again later when you've done some research into flights. Okay, okay. I can hardly wait to okay. meet you. You're so riveting to talk to. It's going to be a laugh a minute, isn't it? <laughs> I, I think it will. I'm sure it will, yes. Anyway, I'd better go. Because uh, I can just see my friend coming through the office door. Uh, so I'll go. Bye for now. Okay, you take care of yourself. Hi, Celia. Are you back from work? Good evening, she said. Good evening, dear. I made inquiries and I was told I should use Mexico City International Airport. And it's about five hours drive from Tampico and also the closest to Tampico. And I will arrive at Birmingham International Airport, which is also about three hours or more. Each time I see your smile on your profile picture, it warms my heart and you have the voice of an angel too. Good morning. OK, you can get the train from Birmingham to Durham. I think they run every hour. When you've booked your flight, let me have the flight number so I know roughly when to expect you, please. I've no idea whether you'd arrive in the morning. I could take a few hours off work to meet you at the station or if you'd arrive in the evening. I'll let you know when I book the flight. I would like to arrive by evening. In time, we will find out. How are you? I just stopped for lunch a few minutes ago. How was work today? I'll text when I can, love. I have to get back to what I was doing. It's busy today. OK. You've gone very quiet, she said. Hello, Celia. Good afternoon, he said, sending her the photograph of the machine that he'd sent, I think, to Denise. The coil tubing skid came in yesterday and was transported to Mexico on Friday. The service keeps turning off because of the storm. How are you? I've missed you. I have no idea what that is, Cecilia. What even is a coil tubing skid? What do you use it for? Oh, Celia. Hello, Celia. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Trying to keep dry. It's been raining all day here. It's been very cold outside since morning and there have been storms for the past few days. Are you going to tell me about that random photo you sent? OK, I'm handed. We transported the CTS to Mexico already. A coil tubing is used for inserting coil tubing machine. You know, it still hasn't worked out the difference between the machine that inserts the coil tubing and the coil tubing inserting a random machine, presumably into a very large hole. Coiled tubing applications include drilling operations, hydraulic fracturing, well completions, removing sand or fill from well bore, and other applications that involve pumping fluids at high temperatures and high salinity. I don't think you'll understand what I'm saying. No, pal, I don't think anyone's going to understand what you're saying. Don't be condescending, said Celia. Of course I understand. I work at a university. The question is, do you understand it? Because that has nothing at all to do with your occupation. I'm a hyperbaric welder, he said. How does it not have anything to do with my occupation? Nothing in what you copied and pasted above has anything to do with welding, does it? She said. And you might want to read what you typed in that first sentence and try again. You know, the bit about coil tubing is used for inserting coil tubing machine. You always act too smart, said our man who realised he was floundering. How come you don't know that a hyperbaric welder is a marine engineer? I don't like it when you give me this over-smart attitude. Where are coil tubing used, he asked. Because a hyperbaric welder does welding under water, said Celia. Welding, he doesn't insert coil tubing. He or she welds. Sadly, she said, in reply to him saying, I don't like it when you give me this over-smart attitude. Your attitude is anything but smart. In fact, I'm beginning to wonder what you really do and why you really are in Mexico. Did I tell you I'm to insert it, he said. And so she copied and pasted the bit where he'd said a coil tubing is used for inserting coil tubing machine. Except, she added, that your first sentence was nonsense, as I'm sure you'd realise if you read it, assuming you have a good enough level of comprehension to understand what you typed. I said a coil tubing is used for inserting a coil tubing machine. 
I didn't say I was going to be the one to do it. You asked me about the picture I sent, and I explained what I sent you. If I'd said it was meant for work, nothing more, nothing less, without explaining what it was, then you would also have counted me differently. Oh, FGS, said Celia, you really believe that a coil tubing is used for inserting a coil tubing machine? You really, genuinely, honestly are that stupid. I'm beginning to think you are. I don't want to be arguing with you, he said. Let's forget this topic and say something else. Good morning. No, let's not forget this topic. I need to know if you really genuinely, honestly believe that rubbish you typed and you really are that stupid, or if you can give me a sensible explanation, please. I understand that because I told you I'm a hyperbaric welder and sent you a coiled tubing picture and coiled tubing is related to oil and gas and hyperbaric welding relates to welding at elevated pressures. But I had this work contract from a friend called John Willis, who's a senior consultant, and he got this job we're working on now in Mexico from Gulf Supplies, and the coiled tubing was brought by John Willis, or was meant for the job. And I'm still learning more about the coiled tubing units, so please let's change this topic, Celia. No, let's not, she said. Are you really, really, really that stupid that you genuinely believe that coil tubing is used to insert a coil tubing machine? That's a serious question. Are you that stupid that you believe the rubbish you typed? You can say, A, yes, I am that stupid, so obviously I'm not a welder and I'm lying to you. Or B, yes, I realise it was idiotic rubbish. And what I really meant was, and she added in brackets, fill in the blank with what you really meant. Those are your only two choices. There is no third option. I already told you, he said, choosing the non-existent third option. I don't know too much about cord tubing, and I said so without inquiring much about it. And I'm not lying to you, but to be honest, you're sounding very mean. OK, you've chosen option A. Yes, I am that stupid, and I have no idea what I typed or why it's so obvious that it's rubbish. So it's obvious you're lying to me. Goodbye. Even a 12-year-old kid would realise how ridiculous it was. Hey. Hello. Good morning. Are you ignoring me? But, of course, by then, Celia had ghosted him. I hope you enjoyed this ridiculous scammer, who, when he called, sounded about 17 years old and clearly had no idea what he was talking about. If you did, please like it, please share it, please comment down below, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you again in another video.